day. I, I didn't know that I was a selfish person. If you'd have ever asked me, I'd said, no, man, don't you know about all the charity work and all this stuff that I do? And I, I help people. I mean, I, I'll, I'll do anything. I'll give you the shirt off my back. If you think you're not selfish, you just have your youngin, because it it means complete and total giving. You've got to, you learn how to give. She taught me how to give. It's what she did, and um, it's changed who I am. I used to get frustrated real easy. You know this old business we do. It's it's difficult. It's dog eat dog, and you just you dig and you scrounge and you 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 work really hard for every little you know thing you get out of this business and. I'd stay frustrated. Me, you know, I'd bark at my wife. You know, she's like, I haven't done anything, but this baby is just like me licking a big old Valium or something. It's just, <laughs> just done something to me, man. I'll go in there and not for last. She said she's gonna cry all night, and I said, you go in there and get in the bed, honey, and get you some rest. I'll sit right here and watch her cry all night. And and I ain't, I ain't, I have not been that person before in my lifetime. Something like that would just make me pull my hair out. Yeah. And nine times out of ten, if you take that attitude with it and just pull her up here and just squeeze her against your chest, you'll fall off the sleeve. They sense that, don't yeah, they? Man, yeah, man, they know you're. If you're not upset, if you're not, if it's not freaking you out, it helps them calm down. So Savannah Gale. Yeah. Now you grew up near Savannah, Tennessee. Is that right. why the name? I think that's you know obviously a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love that name. I, I'm pretty fond of Savannah, Georgia. As well, it's a really beautiful southern town. It's got a lot of history. I love history, um, but my wife loves that name also. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we had another name picked out if it was a girl. Uh, my great grandfather was his last name was Taylor, and she had a grandfather that's name was Taylor. Um, he married. He was a step grandfather, mm -hmm. and um, we thought about Taylor Ray. We, we both loved that name, and the reason I was afraid I wasn't going to pull this Savannah thing off is because I could she we just couldn't find a middle name to to uh, suit her so I'm driving down the road one day and I go bingo it just hit me her mom's name is Linda Gale and I said what woman's going to say she don't want to name her daughter after her mom I said and, and Savannah Gale sounds like one word to me uh -huh. so I call her up on the phone and I couldn't believe we hadn't already thought of that and I said Kimberly how does your mom spell her middle name? She told me, and I said, Savannah Gale. And she goes, oh, my God. <laughs> and I knew I was in. <laughs> Did Kimberly know you as Darrell Worley country star when you met mm -hmm. no. at that party that night? Did she have any idea who you were? And if the, the answer being no, did no, is, is that easier? You, you I think? wouldn't have done it. <laughs> really? I can just tell you. I mean, I've just... And that's probably not the right attitude either. But I've just I've ha I've just had enough experiences with that kind of stuff that, you know, it may be m my problem, but I just probably wouldn't be able to to handle that. I mean, no, she didn't have a clue who I was, and it was beautiful. It was a, really a great thing. So how do you break the ice in the conversation? You're asking her what she does, and she asks you what you do. So what do you say? Well, it ha it didn't, that didn't happen right then. That was no. a pretty good while before that happened. I didn't. I didn't see her again for a pretty good while yeah. after that that evening, um, and then um, she had she actually had moved back to West Virginia. She was gone for um, probably six or eight months. I I actually thought that you know we probably wouldn't be together after that, and uh, I found a phone number uh, that I thought might have been her mom and dad's, and I just thought, well, what the heck, I can call up there. And see if uh, if she you know if they know where she's at and I did and she was staying with them oh and my. then about I don't know three or four months later she moved back to Nashville and uh, took took an old job that she had been working and uh, we started seeing one another some and I wasn't in no big hurry <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at that time but I I, I got in a hurry because I just thought you know um, I've had tough times me and you've talked about this I've had tough times with relationships and most of it's I'm sure it's me but um, I just never felt that way about someone that, that I thought, I can't let this get away. I never felt that way. I mean, you know, I think we're as bad as women sometimes with this biological clock. I th <laughs> like I told you, you know, me and Beverly, we almost, it was like an experiment with us. We said, <laughs> well, we got to try this, you know, before we die. <laughs> <laughs> but this this was, and i tell you what. Uh, I'm not one of these people that we're not the cleavers, man. I'll tell you that. We, 
she's full of fire and passion, and we bark, and you know we have our moments, but um, you know making up's a lot of fun, yeah. and I wouldn't trade it for nothing. She's she's just my gal, and if I told her the truth, I said if you if I didn't have you in my life, I just wouldn't. I'd just have to not have a wife, you know. Yeah. So it's a good place to be. He went that away, and I was 